Hi, I'm Mee Kim Dang. I'm an executive video producer at DP Review. And today I'm gonna to be walking you through some sample footage that we've been testing on the GH6. So we'll be talking through a couple of different things, including compression options, image stabilization, picture profiles, dynamic range boost, and of course, everyone's favorite, low light performance. So let's take a look at compression options. We shot two different clips. The first one, 4K, 400 megabits per second at 422 10-bit all I. The second clip, also shot in 4K, but at 150 megabits per second at 422 10-bit long GOP. Now let's take a look at stabilization. We shot a control clip where there was no stabilization applied. Then we used combined in-body and in-lens stabilization. Next, we looked at the effect of adding digital stabilization, or e-stabilization as it's called, on top of the in-body correction. One thing I would point out is that in our control clip, we were really shooting handheld, meaning we didn't have three points of contact on the camera. So it appears exaggerated, but it just goes to show you the difference between the modes. And we were pretty surprised that the EIS doesn't look any better than the in-body plus in-lens IS only. So in the first clip, the image stabilization toggle on the lens was turned off. In the second clip, the toggle was turned on, and in the last clip, we toggle on EIS via the menu. All right, moving on to picture profiles. All of these clips were shot at 4K, 400 megabits per second, at 422 10-bit all I. So here we shot three different picture profiles, standard, CineLite D2, and Vlog. This first clip is shot in a standard profile at base ISO 100. The second clip is shot in CineLite D2, also at base ISO 100. And the third clip is shot in Vlog at base ISO 250. Here's that same Vlog clip with the Panasonic LUT applied. Now let's take a look at dynamic range boost. We shot two different clips in Vlog. Our control at base ISO 250 and the second clip with dynamic range boost on at ISO 2000. Last but not least, everyone's favorite, testing out low light performance. For these clips, we shot a variety of scenes at different ISOs. So there is noticeable noise as you would expect with the higher ISOs, but due to YouTube compression, it may not be apparent. That could be a good thing if you're publishing to YouTube. But if you want to see the noise on the full resolution clips, they're available for download on our site. Thanks so much for watching. For an in-depth review or to download these individual clips at full resolution, visit dpreview.com. If you do, tag us, let us know your thoughts.